is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. Bye, Pepper. <laughs> Bye, Pepper. Yeah, a backyard surprise for a family in Colorado City today. It was painfully hot. You could say it was unbearable today. That baby bear was probably just looking for a cool pool, maybe a popsicle. That fur Cody's worn would make anybody run for higher ground. And that's not the only sighting for this family. Just a couple of nights ago, they spotted this bigger bear. Maybe the baby bear's mama? Don't know. Thanks to Brenda for posting that up on our Facebook page, KOAA5. It was really hot all across the viewing area today. You need a cool diversion when it's this hot. We went to the Wilson Ranch pool and found that some people dress the same way they do their income taxes. They took off as much as the law will allow. My theory, whatever keeps you cool. Outside tonight, it's 81 degrees, still really warm for this late at night. No breeze at all in Pueblo. Clear skies from El Camino to St. Mary's Church, all the way back to the blocks in the Mesa Junction. Here's your big weather story. There is relief on the way. Big cold front coming in. I don't say that often in July, but this is a strong cold front by July standards. Let's move this thing through early Saturday morning. You'll know when the front hits your neighborhood on Saturday because it's really going to get windy around here. Gusts out of the north, 20 to 30 miles per hour, bringing in that cooler air. And then by afternoon into the evening, thunderstorms in the mix. Here's what will happen. Those thunderstorms will pop over the higher elevations, and then we'll nudge them off the mountains across the I-25 corridor. Not all, but a few of the thunderstorms could possibly contain heavy rain, maybe hail as well. So so here's the way your weekend shakes out. Nice on Saturday, cooler still on Sunday. A chance of those PM storms both days. And in Pueblo, big time cooling trend on the way. By Sunday, you will definitely chill out with that high of only 82 degrees. That'll feel nice after the past few days into the triple digits. Outside tonight, look at that. We've got radar beams scanning the entire state. Not one thunderstorm to deal with right now anywhere across Colorado. Starting hot tomorrow. Look at this at 9 tomorrow morning already into the mid 80s. You can see nothing but clear blue sky across all of Colorado as we work into the mid afternoon hours. 95 and 102 with still lots of sunshine. Little more water in the atmosphere tomorrow. So at least I think we'll see a few cumulus clouds start to build up over the hills during the afternoon. But again, most of us will stay dry tomorrow. Pueblo 103 today. That's 10 degrees hotter than where you should be this time of the year in the springs. 97 missing the all time record high by just one degree. It's still hot out there tonight. We've got 80s across a good chunk of southeastern Colorado, but the air is real dry. So after midnight, we'll start to cool, dropping back into the 60s for overnight lows tonight. Tomorrow, awfully hot again. 98 in the springs. That'll be hot enough for a brand new all time record high. Pueblo, I've got you at 105. That will also be a brand new all time record high temperature for the date across El Paso County, places like Briargate, Black Forest, Falcon, all the way into the mid 90s tomorrow. And I know I put this this up every night, but this is very valuable information. When it's this hot, it's dangerous. You need to drink a lot of water so you don't dehydrate. Get in front of that air conditioner if you're really sensitive to the heat. And of course, you never ever want to leave kids or pets in the car. And a good idea to check on the elderly. They have a real tough time when it's this hot for such an extended period of time. Here's that cooling trend on the way. Going to feel real nice around here Sunday and Monday. Highs only into the mid 70s. A chance of some pretty strong thunderstorms Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So we'll go with a two on the storm impact scale. Then, of course, we're going to gradually warm up back into the mid 80s by the middle part of next week. Pueblo, not just hot, it's blast furnace hot again tomorrow. Then a pleasant pattern change. That cold front will put out the fire cooler Saturday, much cooler Sunday. In fact, on Sunday, almost 25 degrees cooler than tomorrow. With more low level moisture around, you'll have a better chance of seeing some afternoon thunderstorms Saturday, Sunday into Monday. You heat back up into the mid 90s by the middle part of next week. And another cooker in Canyon tomorrow. The East is on the run, though. The heat wave gives way to that refreshing July air mass over the weekend. Much cooler by Sunday with rain and rumble both Saturday and Sunday afternoon. And for Woodland Park, real hot, real dry tomorrow. 87 is a hot day when you're at 8,400 feet in elevation, but you will cool into the upper 60s Sunday into Monday with a good chance of seeing those afternoon thunderstorms. So 